G'day, Michael here. I've reached the point of no return. I've cut the steel framing for the outside. Well, it's basically a containing frame for the whole assembly of the, the new Core XY printer. Um, I'm kind of sick of all the wobbles you get in the um, assembled kits. So I've uh, decided to make sure I don't get you know, any more wobbles that are necessary. I'm using 50 millimeter square tubing. The box is uh, 900 high and about well, nearly 900 cube, really. Very close. 860 by 860 by 900 is the size of this fully assembled frame. But now, it dawned on me, um, years ago I did a job for the National Gallery of Australia. And what that consisted of was making uh, some plinths that needed to hold very heavy bronze statues, which were actually um, made by a well-known artist. I actually forget his name now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not a, a, an art follower, which... <laughs> probably shows. Um, he uh, did a lot of the bronze statues you see around in Melbourne around about a hundred years ago. I think he did it in like, like 1920s and 30s. I wish the name had popped in my head but it's not happening. Anyhow, I needed to weld up accurate frames because I needed to clad them with um, you know mitered MDF pieces which were then made to look like concrete. Anyhow, I shot off on a tangent but needless to say I needed precision with the welding. So I bought these clamps, so I've had them, I don't know, uh, maybe about 12 or 14 years, I can't remember how long ago the job was now. But these clamps are fantastic. Now you can see here, uh, this clamp arrangement uh, holds very firmly into the corner. Now this is actually cast iron and it's, the corner is actually machined in the cast iron, so it's very nicely held. But on top of that you've got this vertical corner with this other brace. Now all these threads, you can see this button looking thing here, I'm not going to release it because I just spent ages uh, lining everything up. Um, this makes it quick to uh, retract the thread. The same down the bottom here. Now uh, with the parts being held so beautifully square, I find what I, I best do is run around, put a, a good solid tack weld in sort of the external corners that I can get to with the welder. And you can see it's fairly open, so it does let you let you get in there with the MIG welder to do whatever you've got to do. Now I've got how many? I've got three MIG welders, and a stick welder, and a TIG welder. The TIG I have not yet used. Uh, I need to get a gas fitting for it. But in any case, I only do a little bit of welding, and that's why I have so many welders. It sounds paradoxical, but uh, I only weld aluminium occasionally, and to change over the MIG, uh, you know, the sheath and so forth for aluminium is a really big deal and for a five minute weld you don't want to spend an hour uh, swapping over components. So I've got one welder set up for aluminium only and it's my heaviest welder. Uh, that's another subject. In any case, um, I do do a bit of welding even though I'm a cabinet maker by trade and a bit of a closet engineer. Um, you can see here that this this clamp is holding beautifully. Now they are a very strong and heavy clamp. Now heavy has the advantage of it stays put when you push on it, kind of thing. It adds mass to what you're holding. Now, I've, I've assembled quite a few steel frames with this, and it's very easy to hold even sort of um, two metre frames within an accuracy, of, you know, you, you, well inside, you know, I don't know, probably uh, the measurement I had to work within was less than a millimetre of accuracy for square on that um, job for the National Gallery. So it was quite a demanding job, and it was quite effortless with these. Because you've got something holding all the parts together, and you have the opportunity to check whether everything's sitting square and flat, you have time to think to make sure it's all correct. And it does a good job of holding even against the tack weld shrinkage that you get when you, when you put your first tack weld on. Anyhow, I guess that's it for this particular um, video. Maybe I'll get another angle. You can see it's quite open on the back here. Yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Well, feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. Bye for now.